couple of things already got said or asked. So I'll just say on education, when you said that was kind of your pride there of the community schools and all of this, and I guess it's a bit of a comment is that I cannot believe how the SAS party does not fund education at a sustainable type level and so on. And it's, um, and, and, and the more private education and independent schools and some of those pieces are getting, you know, 15 to 16% increase while public education isn't. And so we kind of start looking at it almost as a, we're getting into a two-tiered education system. I don't know if you have any comments on that, but the other piece was, and you mentioned taxes. And I think, again, how broad, broad based taxes and the increase in taxes and taking, you know, and people don't seem to think that that's a big issue for them. And yet I had some people actually quite interestingly enough say, our income tax, we're not even paying enough, like they said, and yet these other types of taxes are going up and they're, um, they're not equitable. And then a little bit of comment too about how, what you feel your government did even in the North, because I think there again, all the infrastructure and so on that we did in the North, there's not a lot of support for that. And these guys haven't been following up with that. So I kind of covered three or four things there, but just like your comment on those things. Uh, sure, Judy. Uh, the, 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 I, don't, I, I, think it's, I don't think anyone could argue that the, the quality of life in a community, the future of a community, the future of a society is based on education, on how we provide the tools and the opportunities for young people and, and, and adults and seniors to be involved in, in education. And uh, th there's no doubt about it. This government has uh, simply, simply um, has not kept pace with funding and education. Now, I think that means we should ought to have uh, a, real, a real strong allied group uh, among educators in this province. Um, I didn't, when, when I was trying to put these notes together, I was, I was thinking, well, you know, I, I, I crafted a little document after we left government to try and outline uh, the, the activities that we were involved with in government. It's 35 pages long. Um, so I didn't touch on much of the work that we were able to do with the Northerners in Northern uh, Saskatchewan, whether it was in terms of uh, uh, road work, moving natural gas uh, into the north, uh, the healthcare facilities. Um, uh, I recall visiting Lalosh soon after I became the Associate Minister of Health. And in those days, the, uh, the hospital, so-called hospital, was uh, two ATCO trailers that were joined together. And when I went into the facility, the, the, the nurses on staff were both carrying pails to catch water that was coming through the ceiling. And uh, that was after I'd been to Imperial where the acute care wing was, uh, was empty. Uh, they had real acute care needs in Lalosh. And so we were able to, we were able to, we were able to build a, a new facility in Lalosh. We built a very creative new facility, healthcare and education facility in uh, Illa Cross. We had some very, very good and strong MLAs and we've had very good and strong MLAs uh, up until the most recent by-election um, uh, coming from the North. And again, we concentrated uh, concentrated on um, economic development, uh, providing Northerners opportunities uh, to work in the North. Um, we concentrated on educational opportunities, the, uh, the, the SunTEP program um, in, in the North and the nursing program in the North. I, um, I lobbied like crazy, Ralph Klein, until he got tired of me coming. Uh, to build a road on the Alberta side uh, to connect uh, Lalosh and that that northwestern corner up into Fort McMurray, and um, it it got to the stage where he phoned me once and he said, "Well, my highways minister won't do it." And I said, "Well, Ralph, I don't know how it works in Alberta, but over here in Saskatchewan, if I had a highways minister that flat refused, I'd get a new highways minister. This is this is not rocket science, Ralph." So he agreed, and we had a big press conference in the in the Lloyd Minster right of well, John the Alberta side to announce the construction of the of the road uh, to uh, to Fort McMurray. Um, then the Conservatives, um, I never quite understood it, but the Conservatives then dumped Ralph Klein and they got Eddie Stelmack and uh, and Ed cancelled it, cancelled the project and um, and then as I say I was uh, with the majority of Saskatchewan uh, um, Consent of the majority, I became leader of the opposition. So that 
And it just kind of made me smile when in the by-election there was Scott Moe up there talking about building a, a road to uh, the border. Well, it's built to the border, Scott. Um, it's the Alberta side that needs to be done. Anyway, yeah, thanks, Judy, for remembering because uh, Northern Saskatchewan, the communities of the North, the vast geographical uh, area that, 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 are, that are served by those, those constituencies, um, it's it's a, it's a, a there, there's lots of demand and lots of opportunity and and some of the happiest times I spent in government were visiting communities across the north. You'll remember, Judy, we did an entire bus tour uh, one summer in the north and uh, it was just a great experience. 